Good morning, people! It's been months since I have updated a workout video, and I've had reasons. Workout Buddy knows why, and school was just kind of mm, crazy. Um, that speech class really took it out of me. But I am back in the gym. I, I, I am sweating. Yay! I do have purple hair now. Um, and my fun little tip, if you have dyed hair and you're going to the gym, crochet yourself a headband out of an old t-shirt because it soaks up the dye without it getting all over you or the equipment. And I really don't think our gym would appreciate it if I sweated all over their equipment and got purple everywhere. And so, yeah, I did that. I have been working out, just not in the gym. Um, we are playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> And so we've been walking a lot, and I've been getting a pretty decent workout from doing that. We've been, you know, sorry, sweat. We've been going about three times a week, walking around either um, downtown Charleston or here locally, and we get gross and sweaty. We go off on trails in the nature wilderness area. Nature wilderness. Ah. So, oh, workout buddy's leaving. Bye, workout buddy. Um... I'm saying um again. I got really good about not saying it. None of my speeches. I said um. I was so proud of myself and now I'm saying it again. I got to get better. I got to work on that. So yes, Pokemon Go has been a great workout for me. Uh, the husband's been playing it. The BBE's even playing it. We use one of our old cell phones. We just tether it to one of ours through the data and she can play Pokemon Go. And she has a blast and it's so cute watching her because she gets a Pokemon. She's like, oh my gosh, I got it. It's like, it's a Rattata. You have 10 of them, but she loves it. So we're excited. And also another work that I've been doing, I don't know if you can count it as a workout. Um, there's um again. I have working in the yard because it's summertime. It's been raining here. So our lawn is just growing like crazy. So I've been mowing the lawn a lot and that makes me sweat more than any other workout I've ever done. So yeah, that's always a good workout. And today back in the gym, dying, I did shoulders and so I will post the link to the workout I got on Pinterest down below in the description box. And I just want to let everyone know that I will not be doing She-Hulk at Dragon Con. Not because I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm still so fat. No, it's not that. It's, I don't have time to make the costume. I haven't even started the BB's costume for Poison Ivy that she wants to do. I haven't even looked and priced out materials. Dragon Con is in less than two weeks. My cosplays are not done. I still need to get a new pair of boots and a new shirt and make a new wrist thingy for my Leela cosplay. Luckily, I don't have to worry about a wig because I did this. I have purple hair and it looks kind of blue right now. Let me see if I can get... But I need to touch it up a little bit around here where it didn't take too well. So... Yes, I will be doing Leela again just because it is a very comfortable and it's a fun cosplay. Because, I mean, you can just walk around with an attitude and everyone's like, oh, it's Leela. And plus, I have my eyeball. And I love my eyeball because I can see out of it and everybody compliments it. And I just, I love it. I love doing Leela. I will also, hopefully, if I can finish it, be doing my Borderlands, or not Borderlands, wake up, my Fallout. Raider cosplay. I have all my armor pieces pretty much done. I still need to make my um, brass looking knuckly things that I want to make uh, out of door handles. <laughs> uh, I found some really cool ones at Home Depot. They are Martha Stewart brand door pulls or drawer pulls, door pulls, mm -hmm. drawer handle puller things. And they fit perfectly over my knuckles and they really look cool. So I was going to make some sort of like half glove with those. I don't know if I'm able to have time to make my vault suit. I really want to. Again, don't know if I'm going to have time. This cosplay may end up turning into like a Mad Max type looking thing. And I'll just be like a post-apocalyptic crazy person. So there's that one. I may be doing Court of Owls again just because it's easy. And I didn't see any Court of Owls last year. 
we left early last year, so this year we are planning on staying for probably three days. So I don't know if I'm gonna be cosplaying all day, every day, because it was kind of hard to walk around and look in some of like the vendor halls with the cosplay, especially for my husband's because he does Kakashi and you know, he's 6'3", and he's, he's a big guy. He's tall, and it's just, it was hard. So we may just do some of, like, the looking around. We want to do the, we want to look at, we want to watch the parade this year. We missed it last year by, like, an hour because we were stuck in traffic. So hopefully we'll get to do everything. I just downloaded the Dragon Con app, and it's not updated at all. Like, there is nothing on the app that I can see. So hopefully within the next few days, I'll be able to start coming up with like a plan of attack for how we're going to be doing these three days at Dragon Con. So yes, that's update for the day. I worked out. I did shoulders. Description will be down below. BB is home. I don't know if any of you saw. She wanted to do an outfit of the day video. So I think it's up. I'm not 100% sure. I will double check and I may just repost it after I do some editing because... I didn't edit the first one. <laughs> and yeah, uh, hopefully I can do another uh, tutorial um, and you guys can see how I'm making these costumes. The BB wants to do one. Ooh, that was my hip that just popped. Ouch. But yeah, BB wants to do a cos uh, tutorial on how she makes her cosplays. We do have her make most of her own items for her costumes because what's the point if you're not going to teach her how to do it? Uh, her Harley Quinn cosplay, she did a majority of the work on it. I did some of like the harder stuff that, you know, required heat and or needles. But she has her own sewing kit now, so she will be sewing things. I may just go behind her and reinforce stitches. But I think it's important that she learns how to do her own costuming because that way it means more to her. Just like it means more. It means a lot to me when I make my costumes and I feel better. Like, I feel more proud when I wear them because, like, yeah, I made this. I am awesome. My Court of Owls, obviously, I didn't make it. I bought a dress at Ross for, like, 30 bucks, and I got the mask from Barnes & Noble for about 30 bucks, and a pair of heels for about, what, 10 I think, at Walmart. But it's still a fun costume. But I don't feel the same sense of pride as I do. I guess you could say, as when I wear my Leela costume. Because, yes, the pants and boots and shirt are store-bought, whatever. But that eyeball, you know, I handmade that. I had to come up with that on my own because I had to find something to fit over the glasses. And I'm just, I'm really proud of it and really happy on how that turned out. I used it as a prop in one of my speeches, which I will say my cosplay speeches went fabulous. My first one was the one I did about comparing me to the Hulk for our, you know, kumbaya get to know you type speech that we had to use like a character to describe ourselves. So that one went great. My second speech was about the history of cosplay, past, present, future. And that one, people were like, oh my gosh, I never knew that. And they learned a lot of information. The second one that I had to do was my call to action speech. It had to be about an issue within my topic. So I chose cosplay does not equal consent. And I got great feedback from everyone in the class. And then our third, we had to do a special occasion speech. So I think it turned out really good. I picked a cosplayer. Everyone thought I was going to say Yaya Han or, you know, one of those types. And I, I did go with a, you know, a famous cosplayer. She was on here as a cosplay. I chose uh, Jessica Marazan because I got to meet her. And she's the sweetest person you'd ever meet, so I love it. I'm getting weird looks because I'm talking to myself in my car. <laughs> I don't care. I will talk to myself all day. I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> but, yes, so speeches went great. I'm like a freaking ADD dog over here. It's like squirrel. But, anyways, any hoozles. Speeches went great. Classes went great. I got an A in that speech class, and that's the one I was freaking out about. And I was I surprised myself. My other classes... I got an A and a B in. Uh, the B probably could have been prevented, except I had to miss a day of class. So that happened. But anywho, I did good. I'm happy. This next semester starts next week, and I'm kind of freaking out a little. But 
at the same time, not really. I think I, I, my classes aren't overly difficult now that most of my core classes are out of the way. It's all child development stuff. So I get to do like creative experiences and learn how to develop arts and crafts for kids and things. So I'm, that's like, that's my element. I love it. So yes, school's going great. The baby is doing awesome. She's grown about 10 feet since you've seen her last, I'm sure. We just got her hair cut and it's down to her butt again. And yeah, that's, I'll have the BB do an update video so y'all can see how she's doing. We'll do some videos about our cosplaying adventures. And hopefully, I will see some of y'all at Dragon Con. And I will be making a video while we're at Dragon Con, kind of showing y'all around what we're doing. You'll get to see the husband in his costume. Maybe he's kind of camera shy. But, you know, I, I may just sneak the camera on him when he's not looking. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's it. Like I said, back in the gym. Doing good and loving life. All right. I will talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.